Ladies, time, prepare to match, please. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Fontaine Mika Chapman from England. And on my left, Paiyu Po, Chinese Taipei. Fontaine Chapman to serve. Love all, play. And a very good afternoon and welcome to the semifinals of this, the 2014 Yonex Dutch Open live from the top sports center here in Almira. Almira wow. situated Love. just south east of Amsterdam. And this first of our streamed semi-final matches, seven in total on court one this afternoon for your enjoyment. Women's singles, as you can see at the start, two. Love. is the unseeded Fontaine Chapman from England against fifth seed Pai Yupo of Chinese Taipei. The Chinese Taipei in yellow. And Chapman nearest to our camera in white. So it's over. One, two. Fontaine Chapman, of course, who was playing in the new National Badminton League in England on Monday, came straight here from that match, lost her singles. So it's over. Three, in that match. One. But I uh, came here first round, had an easy victory as Marie Demi of Belgium was forced to retire. Chapman leading 3-1. One. One. And then beat another Belgian in the second round, Liana Tan again uh, in three games. And of course we are playing the experimental rules scoring system here this week at the Dutch Open. I think from memory, the first Seven Grand Prix over. to uh, use the Two, experimental system. Four. And really, in my opinion, this week it has really worked well, both in singles and in doubles. Well, that's for another day's discussion. Fontaine beating Leanne Tan, as I said, in the second round. 11-6, 11-9, And then really couldn't have asked for a better draw en route to this. Her Seven first over. ever Five. Two. Grand Prix semi-final. Took down qualifier Lisa Zaka of Ukraine uh, after losing the first game 11 7 and came back winning 11 9, 7 and 6. And Pi, fifth seed. All eyes on her match yesterday against Three, this young five. English player Panuga Rio, who has really improved over the last few months. Panuga, who won the Polish international an international series rated event a few weeks ago and uh, took one game off the Chinese Taipei four, number five seed five. but eventually Pai Yupo coming through in four so as I said the experimental rule system being used here at the Dutch Open Grand Prix Five games to 11. First to 11 in each game wins, no setting. So even if it is 10 all, it's a winner take all so point one, then. Six, four. 
And we've some, seen some really great matches this week with the scoring system. And as a whole, most of the players have been pretty supportive of it. Starting to get used to it now after playing a few tournaments on the Seven, circuit. Four. Large crowd here, as always, on Super Saturday at the Dutch Open. Always a full house. Badminton crazy fans, of course, they're here also to see some of their Dutch players playing Sir in these semi finals. Five, seven. Ruud Bosch will be the first homegrown talent in action. He now, with a new Chinese Taipei partner, Tien, will play in the third match on our streaming court. And again, then you've got De Ryder and Barning, the last remaining mixed doubles player for the Netherlands. So it was over. And top Eight, seeds, if you must, and Selena Peak. Well, certainly the favourites for the women's doubles. And after initially finding it difficult with the new scoring system, just seem to be finding their feet with the system and really enjoy their win yesterday in the quarterfinal. Nine, five. So back to this women's singles, and it's Pai who stole the initiative from the outset. What? Service over. Six, nine. Pai sprinting into a two love lead. And it's looking Service really in control in this game. 10, game point, 6. And at 10 6, it's game point for Pai. And really, Chapman still trying to find a rhythm in this game. Chinese Taipei Pai, the first game. 11 6. Seen the replay of Pai. And that last rally, the shuttle well over the baseline. Of course, certainly some nerves from Fontaine. As I said, her first ever Grand Prix semi final in front of a very large crowd. An important time for coach. Really needs to settle her down. Fontaine Chapman, of course, who operates outside of the English GB system. Played in the World Championships in Copenhagen. Didn't get to play in the Commonwealth, of course, which I know she was personally disappointed not being selected for those Commonwealth games. Fontaine, somebody who I've worked with in the past at the Olympics in London. She was out with a back injury for so long, kept her out of the game, only coming back in this last 12, 18 months as she worked alongside me in the media. It's 2012 Olympics and studying uh, journalism and media. Such a lovely girl to talk to. Back out on court. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Here without a coach. Very relaxed figure, even in the hotel in the evenings. Very relaxed, very laid back. Second game. Love on. Late. He's had such a consistent run in the past months. Quarterfinals. 
the Vietnam Grand Prix, the Chinese Taipei Open, the US Open, or Grand Prix, or Grand Prix Gold events. What? Service over. One last. So consistency, certainly the key for Pi. World ranked number 40. Service over one all. Chapman over the past 12 months been battling it out, of course, with Sarah Walker for that number one England spot. And now Penuga Rio coming into the four and into the fold, certainly putting the cat amongst the pigeons in terms of service over English two, number one. one. Just Christy Gilmore, the top British based women's singles player. Fontaine, easy winner. Yeah. Out wide for Pi. Oh. With the new scoring system, so many of the players telling me it's so important to come onto the court ready. No room for error. Nice cross court run from Chapman. Just out, the groans from the crowd, they're certainly behind the English Three, girl in this match. Two. But a better start from Fontaine in this second game. Serve from Pine, serving short to Chapman. Five, two. And another unforced error from the English girl. Healthy lead, five, two. This new scoring. First to 11 wins the game. Drop and Chapman claims the base. Over. Three, five. The replay, good disguise. Outstretched arm of Pi, just unable to get a racket on the shuttle. Clenched face from Chapman, happy with that one. And we'll hear adjustment. Three, five, play. Play you, Pope. Over. Easy around the head drop Six, to Chapman. Three. Again, too many unforced errors to maintain. Certainly the opportunity was there to smash out wide down the forehand side. Service this time the air. Four. High in yellow. Seven. The grimace on her face tells the story for sure. The worried looking English bench. Just 
left out. Five, seven. Asian contingent here this Dutch Open Grand or Grand Prix big Indonesian team Chinese Taipei team six seven and it's the first Asian that Chapman has had to play en route to the semi-final and uh, struggling with the pace of pie at the moment nice net from Chapman Girl. That's a better rally from Chapman for sure. Oh, the unforced error. Service Again. over. Eight, six. Chapman certainly in control of that rally. Just a final shot letting her down. Serve again from high. Yeah, good speed in the rally from high. Nine, six. Chapman always having to work hard in defense. Stretching. Good smash. Six, Four, ten six now and after competing well ten, at the very start of this game. game point six. Things are slipping away from Fontaine Chapman. Game point. Paiupo. Clinch fist from Pai takes her to a second game to the lead. by Paiu Po 11 6. Paiu Po leads two games. Good speed going long. forward. A straight smash down the line for the winner. There it is. You can see clinch fist. That's the woman in yellow in the ascendancy at the moment, and Chapman really struggling to cope. The speed of the Asian game. Certainly, just too many unforced errors. Fontaine still looking a little bit nervous on court. As I said, first Grand Prix semi final for the English girl. Back out on court, ready to go. I think that's the one small fault with the 5 2 11 system. Maybe the brakes have just pulled on. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Just my own personal opinion. I've certainly seen a lot of badminton with the new system this week and uh, pleasantly surprised and optimistic with the way it has gone. Big doubt for me was doubles and third play. game. Quick the games have been. Lot really fantastic play. doubles matches this week in the new system also. Yeah. Yeah, and just the error from 14. One block. In the rally and then the error is just too easy for the English girl. Making errors on the route, really no pressure from Pine. Oh. 
again struggling with a length. Two, Chapman. What serves over? One, two. Good aggressive return of serve from Chapman. Drop cross court. Good attacking shot. Pine not expecting it. And again, serve is over. Length, just letting Three, her down. One. Asking the shuttle will be changed. Ooh, that's very close. Good call from the line judge. But if anything, this week, the players have been saying that the shuttle is just a little bit slow. So, uh, no real reason for Chapman to be struggling with her length. Better rally this time from the English girl. Oh, good defense from Pi. Everything works for Pi in yellow at the moment. I don't think Fontaine expected that shot to come back. Yeah. Good net initially from Chapman. And a nice angle Two, smash into the body. Four. Yeah, that smash to the body that did the real damage. High off balance, a good net shot for the winner from Chapman. Oh. Serve is over. Five, two. Fontaine ah. Chapman has really improved over the last 12 months. One. Playing against this. Uh, High quality Asian opposition is something that you may be not familiar with. Three, five. Serves <laughs> over. Six, three. Short Fontaine, you're going to have to be ready for that short return. Of the net. Service over. From Chapman. Four, six. Still in this game, the English girl. Only trading by two. Really needs to get on level terms and put some pressure on Pi. points in a row for Chapman, something she has not achieved in this game. Oh, beautiful net, spin from Pi. Strong defense from Chapman. Rally the match so far for sure, and in the end, warm round of applause from the audience as Pai comes out on top. Service so over. Seven, five. But signs certainly that Chapman is starting to find a little rhythm in this game. A forehand block going cross court. Good points in that rally from Chapman. Five. Pai Yupo already two games to love up in this women's single semi-final. Of course, 
using the experimental rule system here. So it's over. Joker. Six, seven. I think from Chapman, certainly Pi anticipating and reading the smash very well, coping with it very well. Service over. Seven, eight. Best rally of the game so far for Chapman. Ties it up at eight all. Ten point accuracy. Eight all. Beautiful backhand. in that rally and controlling the exchanges. Okay, a little bit of luck. Chapman in control in that rally. And for the first time in this game, this match, the English girl gets her nose in front. Pie out flat on the floor. Get a little sweat down on the mat. Force the mopper to come in. And earn yourself a little break. Common tactic in badminton. Sport, the shuttlecock. It's a 9 8. A revitalized Fontaine Chapman. Swinging the momentum in her favor at the end of this third game. 9 8 play. Service over. Uh, certainly working the chapel at the moment. Pi levels it up at 9 all. Nervous times, of course, no setting with these experimental rules. That's good work. Yes, in the pool. Cross net from Chapman. Warm round of applause from the audience. Service over. Ten. Game point. Nine. And Chapman who gets the game point first. A little bit of delaying tactic from Pi. The umpire having none of it. Crucial point in the game, in the match for Fontaine Chapman. Umpire said it is match point for Pi U Po. No setting in this experimental uh, scoring system. 
So if Pai wins this point, she wins the match. If Chapman wins the point, she wins the game. Big opportunity. Oh, the smash. Not enough venom on the smash. And yeah, that's it. Uh, Frustration from Chapman. Certainly had the opportunity. And a half court lift towards the end of that rally. The smash just not good enough, not wide enough for Chapman. Easily defended from Pai. Drawing the error from Chapman. Let's Let's see. Certainly Pai frustration from, from Fontaine. Six. Eleven, six, that stretch, eleven, that one stretch, ten. too far for Fontaine Chapman. So it's Pai Yu Po who goes through to tomorrow's final 11 6, 11, 6, 11, 10 over Fontaine Chapman. But a good week this week for Chapman. Valuable world ranking points for first Grand Prix. But it's Pai, the fifth seed, who we'll see in tomorrow's final. Stay tuned, our next match on court will be men's single semi-final top seed Rajiv Usuf against 13th seed AJ Jairam of India.